evening. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. I'm Shannon Ogden. And I'm Ann Trujillo. And we have breaking news just in. The girlfriend of the Las Vegas shooter is at Los Angeles International Airport right now. This is video from just 15 minutes ago when she arrived. Today, federal investigators named her as a person of interest. They also report the shooter wired $100,000 to her home country of the Philippines. That is where she just came in from. New tonight, we're getting our first look at just what police saw as they responded to the Las Vegas shooting Sunday night. Denver 7, Sally Mann is in the studio and breaks down what that body cam video shows. Sally? Shannon is chilling video to watch, but it takes you there to those horrifying moments that Vegas concert goers endured. We now know that gunfire lasted between 9 and 11 minutes. You are watching several Las Vegas Metropolitan Police officers still trying to figure out the location of the gunfire. They were seen hunkering down behind a wall facing Mandalay Bay Resort and Casino. At one point, officers hunkered down next to a patrol vehicle on Las Vegas Boulevard where one officer was shot. You can hear officers directing people to leave the scene or to get down so you can only imagine just how chaotic things were. Hey, they're shooting right at us, guys. Everybody stay down. Stay down. Just very chilling to watch. As you can see, officers were also shielding people with their own bodies as they continue to hunt for the shooter. Now to check out the entire footage, we have it posted on our DenverChannel.com. We're live in the studio. Sally Mabdu, Denver 7. It really takes you there. Sally, thanks for that. Just the past hour, tragic developments in the shooting. Another person has died. So that brings the death toll to 59 victims. And also, we've learned the coroner will release a full list of those killed tomorrow. Also, we learned tonight that one hospital has 31 people still in critical condition. And lots of questions about the guns used by the shooter. The ATF today confirms the gunman attached these devices to 12 of these semi-automatic rifles so that they fire as fast as fully automatic guns. And investigators believe the gunman had eyes on SWAT officers as they closed in using two cameras he installed one in the room door peephole so that he can monitor the hallway. Also tonight, we're learning the stories of two more victims with ties to our state. Rachel Parker was one of the 59 people shot and killed. She graduated from CSU in June of 2016. She was working for the police department in Manhattan Beach, California, and she was applying to grad school. Also, Todd Riley, assistant principal at Century Middle School in Thornton, he was injured in the shooting. And Riley spoke with his hometown newspaper, the Springfield News Sun in Illinois, and he says he sore emotionally and physically after being hit with shrapnel. He recounted the heroism he witnessed and the woman he tried to save. We are also staying in touch with the family of Inglewood police officer Curtis Leone, who was shot twice in the leg. Leone's father sat down with our news partners in North Carolina. On Monday morning, he woke to news of the shooting and a missed call from his son. I was fearful that he was dead. or would die from his injury. He's calm because he's a, a police detective. He knows how to handle himself in crisis situations. And Leone's sister didn't want to talk to us on camera yesterday, but told us that his injuries, thank goodness, are not life-threatening.